Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been a hot minute, I've been super duper busy. Today I'm so excited to sit and talk to you guys about Barbie. I'm sure you've all seen it by now. I know I'm late and I've got nothing new to add to the discussion, but I just really want to talk about this film. Um, I didn't review this one, so I want to come on YouTube and talk about it with you guys. Let me know what you thought of Barbie down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what you all think. I know um, everybody's pretty positive on it, but yeah. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you got on with it. Um, So Barbie is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. So many reasons for this, obviously. Um, But the main reason is Greta Gerwig. I absolutely adore both Lady Bird and Little Women. Anything Greta Gerwig does, I'm 100% down. I'm here for the journey and I have so much faith in her. Um, I think she's an incredible director and writer. So I was really excited to see what she'd bring to the table with such a famous IP. I went to see Barbie on Friday night, on release night. I went to my local Curzon and can I just say how amazing it was to see the cinema so full. There was people dressed up in pink like I am today taking selfies, getting in the um, Barbie boxes for photo opportunities. Everyone was so friendly, everyone was so kind, and I'm just so glad to see the box office making a ton of money um, from this and Oppenheimer. It was so full. My local cousin is normally pretty empty. I'm often like one of the only people in there, so it was really nice to see it busy. It even had like themed cocktails and stuff like that, so it was so much fun, such a vibe. I'm so glad everyone's getting behind this film. I know it's pretty much just gone crazy because of the marketing and it's gone a little bit viral, but I don't care what the reason is. I'm just so glad that this movie is doing so well. So glad to see our cinemas booked and busy. I'm really sorry about the lighting. The sun's kind of like going down and it's really late and I'm just trying to get this done before I have to run some errands. So I am super sorry that the light's going to be changing throughout this video. But we're here to talk about Barbie, so who really cares? Let me start with my review. First I'll talk about the good and then I will talk about the mixed. Luckily I don't have anything bad to talk about so it would just be good and mixed today and I'm super super hyped. This cross of my face from the window is cracking me up. This is why you should not use natural lighting people. What is happening? We're just gonna have to roll with it. I'm so sorry this is like the least professional shit ever but we move. First thing that needs to be spoken about with Barbie is of course the performances. We all had faith in Margot Robbie. I don't think anyone doubted her ability to pull Barbie out of the bag. And God, did she. She looked amazing. Her performance was incredible. She was made for this role. And I think she delivered the comedy super, super well. There's a lot of comedy in here and she does a really good job at delivering that well. But she also delivered the kind of more deep um, emotional moments really well too. I've never seen her show so much emotion on her face. I love her. She's done so many great performances. I think I, Tonya is probably my favourite of hers so far. But yeah, she conveyed so much emotion during this film. And that is something I wasn't really expecting from her. So I was really, really happy with her performance. I thought she was incredible. What I will say, Mr. Ryan Gosling literally pulled it out of the bag so damn hard. I don't want to say that his performance was better than Margot Robbie's, but I do think he often stole the show as Ken. His performance is absolutely faultless. Um, he gets a lot to do, um, which I was really glad to see as well. And he just eats up this material. He looks great, he sounds great, and I thought he was incredible. Every cast member is great. Um, I loved seeing all of their performances. I like what they all brought to the table. Um, I especially really enjoyed America Ferreira. I haven't really seen her in much apart from like Ugly Betty. So she really impressed me. Um, I really liked her performance. And I just love how much energy and enjoyment our ensemble cast brought to the table. Not one bad performance in sight. Everyone was completely understanding the assignment, having the best time. And you could tell that they all really wanted to be there. And they were just having so much fun with the material. I loved Emma Mackey, Shuti Gatwa, and Issa Rae, just everyone. I could sit here for ages, but honestly, I loved every single performance. Margot and Ryan absolutely killed it, and I could not think of a better pair to be in those roles. They blew me away. They were absolutely iconic. As we can see from the trailers, the movie looks absolutely stunning. And <laughs> after watching this film, it's totally believable that there was like a shortage of pink paint. I can totally see why. What I really enjoyed, um, not just how colourful the sets were and the costuming and things like that, but how Barbie accurate they were. 
So I loved how the costumes were actual costumes from um, old Barbie outfits, um, just like Margot Robbie's um, kind of marketing material was um, when she was doing her interviews and stuff. Um, the Barbie movie does exactly the same thing. It features actual outfits from actual Barbies, which is a super fun little touch. And I loved um, the segments of editing where the clothing would come up on the screen with the titles of the clothes like you would get on the little bits of paper that you'd get with Barbies. If you ever had Barbies, you know exactly what I mean. But yeah, um, the mixture of the practical sets compared to um, like the cartoony backgrounds, I think it worked a treat and I think it looked really fun. It looked really realistic and super immersive, but at the same time it had that um, toy Barbie feel. If you just picture Barbie Land in your head, they replicated that perfectly. And I think the set design and the production design and everything like that was absolutely stunning. Obviously, the costumes that Barbie wore throughout were incredible. But I also loved Ken's outfits and the whole cast at that matter. Like, everyone looks so colourful, so fun. Even, like, all the um, human outfits outside of Barbie Land in the real world, like the suits and everything, I just loved it. I think the film looked so inviting during every scene. And I was so happy to see so many cool outfits. I think Halloween is going to be Barbie filled this year. So despite the incredible performances and the gorgeous set design and costuming, my favourite thing about Barbie was the script. I have never, hand on heart, I have never laughed so much at a movie before in my entire life. I was laughing out loud from start to finish. So was my friend Sammy who came with me and so were the entire screen. The audience absolutely ate this shit up. They were laughing, they were cackling, they were cheering. It's got so much humour in this script and it all works. There is not one piece of humour in this film that fell flat. Everything landed, everything's really clever and I believe the reason the humour works so well is despite being a little bit silly at times, it is clever. It um, allows you to think a little bit and it's um, very relatable. Um, there was a lot of humour um, through this film that I really related to, wherever I've thought it before or even said it before. There was so much humour that I laughed at so much because I related and I was like, yes, Queen, you tell them. So much fun. I was not expecting so much humour in this script. It's obviously first and foremost a satire and it pokes fun at so many things from toxic masculinity to Mattel and actually Barbie themselves. Um, there's a lot of discourse in here about how um, the creators of Barbie thought they were doing something amazing for women, but it turns out that it was actually quite damaging at times with um, how we viewed our bodies and things like that. And I loved how they weren't afraid to poke fun at things like that. I think that's a really brave and bold move. Speaking of which, this is a very, very deep film. Um, it's definitely um, aimed at like a 20 to 30 year um, rather than like kids, but... Um, I do think it put across its deep messaging really, really well. It talks about feminism, it talks about consumerism, and um, it talks about existentialism. All three very important topics, um, very current topics, and I think they did a really good job at exploring them. Anyone that's coming away from this film thinking it's anti-men did not understand the message of the movie. Ken is a very prominent character within the movie. Not only this, but he gets a really, really engaging and intriguing arc. He learns a lot about himself and um, he learns a lot about men. And he kind of like, just like Barbie, really, he kind of figures out like where he fits in the world. And he's a man, how he should be, how he wants to be. And if you think it's anti-man, I don't think you've quite understood what it was going for with that. I saw someone, um, I think it was one of the girls that writes over at Empire magazine. I'm really sorry, I don't know the name off the top of my head. But she wrote a really engaging article that I suggest you check out about why Ken is a lot of people's favourite thing about Barbie and why that's okay. Um, you know, it's a film for women, about women, but everyone's really relating to the male character and that's a good thing, that's not a bad thing. And um, I think that would be a good article to throw at somebody who believes this is anti-men because it 100% isn't. Getting back to the discourse and the humour and stuff like that, yeah, there's just so many memorable scenes. I think my favourite scene um, out of the whole movie was the I'm Just Ken ballad. Not only does Ryan Gosling deliver an epic performance, but it's absolutely hilarious. Um, everyone just commits themselves to it and it's really well choreographed in the dancing as well. I find that was super funny. There's a really nice nod in there to um, Singing in the Rain and the lyrics are super deep and it's super relatable. I absolutely loved that scene. The script is quotable from the first viewing and I always commend a script that can do that. Um, I've seen the movie once, but off the top of my head, I can name like five 
um, actual lines of dialogue that have stuck with me, whether that's because they're deep and meaningful or whether they're absolutely freaking hilarious. It's just such a quotable script. And I think that is one of like the most commendable features. We always remember the comedies that have quotable scripts. And I think this is up there. I think it's going to become one of those. Despite it getting really deep at times with its script um, and giving Ken this really um, intriguing arc, it still does so in a light fashion. It's super duper light, it's super light hearted, it ends on a high and um, the final line of the movie is absolutely hilarious. And I think the bits that do hit, do hit really well. But um, yeah, there's humour straight after, so it, it never feels like it's um, pushing the movie down. There is a lot of discourse in there and I think a lot of people might not enjoy that. But because it's balanced so well with the light colours, the light tones, the humour, um, I think it keeps it light on its toes and never feels like it's forcing its message down your throat. Everything I've mentioned is topped off fantastically by a banging soundtrack that I cannot wait to listen to. I haven't yet, but I definitely will. That song by Dua Lipa, Dark the Night Away, I absolutely love. Um, the song that Lizzo does, I think it's called Pink, is an absolute banger. And of course, I'm just Ken, as I already mentioned. So many cool women on this soundtrack. Every song is a bop and I can't wait to play this and listen to this in the weeks to come. Like I mentioned earlier, the editing is absolutely hilarious. Um, the movie is perfectly paced. Um, it's a good two hours, I think, but it never really feels that way. And it's paced so well that there's always something engaging and intriguing, intriguing happening Sorry, on screen. There's never a dull moment. And even when it is, um, when it kind of takes things a bit slower and slows down, it's still just as intriguing as the humour. I think it's paced well, it's edited well, it's consistently interesting, it's consistently hilarious, and that ending is absolutely iconic. Let me talk about the mixed, and then, yeah, we'll do a little summary. I've never done a single review on my channel, so let me know how I'm doing. I'm also so freaking tired. I've been at work all day and I've written two features, but we'll do the mixed, and I will say, although I do have um something... um. In the movie that I wasn't too fond of. It did not hinder my enjoyment whatsoever. I still gave this movie a positive score that I'll tell you at the end and I don't want anyone to think I'm shitting on the film because I absolutely adore it. My one minor gripe with the movie is sometimes occasionally the discussion of feminism. This is hard to talk about because I'm not entirely as well versed in feminism as I should be. But what I will say is the feminism described in the movie does sound very basic and very surface level. Many will argue that this is because it's a Barbie film and um, it's for kids. But let's be real, this film was never aimed at kids. Yes, it's a children's IP, but it's aimed at kind of 20 to 30 year old women. And I think we deserve sometimes a little bit better and something a little bit more clever than what the script did give us. Um, a lot of us, um, we know... Um, enough about feminism and we want something a bit more deep and maybe a little bit more unique. There's a moment during the third act that you will all know what I'm talking about if you've seen it um, with America Ferreira. She delivers this wonderful monologue um, about feminism, what it means to be a woman and how it's so contradictory, what you can do, what you can't do, what you feel like you have to do but you don't want to. It's delivered super well and it's a real career highlight for America Ferreira but what she's delivering is nothing new. It's very basic, it's very surface level. It will be good for a younger audience but for us um, older audience as a lot of us are I think we deserve a little bit more, something a little bit more meaty to sink our teeth into. Something a little bit less on the nose really. Um, I like that it's being upfront with its feminism and it's really fun to see that level of feminism in like a summer blockbuster. But yeah, we just deserve something a little bit, bit more like deep, a little bit different. And um, I love that it's about feminism. I would never take that away from it. But I just wanted sometimes something a little bit deeper. That is my review of Barbie. I hope you've all enjoyed it. I gave Barbie a rating of 4.5 out of 5. I absolutely loved it. It's fun. It's hilarious. It's deep. It has so much rewatchability. Like you can watch this over and over and over again and it will still pack such an amazing punch. Margot is an absolute gem as is Ryan Gosling. The soundtrack is amazing. The set design is gorgeous and it's going to make bank and I'm so excited that it's helped the box office. Join me soon for an Oppenheimer review. Um, I was going to throw them both together but I didn't want to like feel like I was pitting them against each other because they're such different movies. But um, yeah, I'll join you in a couple of days to talk about Oppenheimer. Um, let me know your thoughts on Barbie down below in the comments and we'll have a nice chat about it. I can't wait to talk about this movie with you guys. I shall see you later. Bye.